We've been incompetent, but please give us another chance to do well to move back Nigerians. Presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tunubu, appealed to Nigerians not to give up on their leaders, though there might be weaknesses and inadequate in, in expectation. Mr. Tunubu, the flag bearer of the ruling All Progressive Congress in 2023 election, spoke on Saturday at the funeral of the mother of Ondo State Governor Oluwaru Temiakere Doru in Owo. Responding to complaints on the funeral of the politician class, or the political class, by Reverend Stephen Fabomi, the officiating minister, Mr. Tunubu admitted that no one wants failure, but appealed that the people should not abandon him and his party. You cannot give up on us. We will do better. We will contribute to the improvement improvement you might want, the presidential hopeful assured. During his section, during his sermon, Mr. Fredbem lamented that the previous economy hardship and underdevelopment in the country, while challenging politicians at the barrier to move the country forward, go to hospitals and schools and see what Nigeria is like, the cleric quoted. I encourage you to go to the Federal Medical Center, FMC, here in Owo to campaign and see what the future holds. Hmm. Oh, Wahala. You know, um, <laughs> I know the, the, the cleric man is, uh, is being frank here. You know, uh, like you see, going to the hospital and schools to see what the future, you know, what it's like. You know, uh, those as the places he's measuring is where you know uh so many government has failed you know the, the so many government has failed in education they have failed in health care so so when he's telling them to go to the schools and go to federal medical center in our work to campaign and see what the future look like he's actually telling them that you you will be rejected and 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 you won't see no, no uh, any single vote here you know he said nigeria needed to change that we that you see nigeria needed needs a change that will ensure safety and security in villages that is one that is area of security you know don't forget that our is the town where uh some uh, uh i would like call it terrorists or bandits you know, invaded a church and and uh, uh, there was a huge massacre where over 40 people lost their life in the cold blood on 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 a, on a Sunday morning. You know, and that is is not telling them that Nigeria needs a change that will ensure safety and security in the villages. You know, uh, the urban areas are, are more secure, but when you come to these rural areas, you know, you hardly see the presence of a um, the security uh, operative agent in those areas and when they attack before they can uh, you know any security agent can can get to those areas the perpetrator will have you know done whatever they want to do and escape and uh, he went on to say we need a government that can understand the economy life is hard let us let our leaders be careful to help us hmm. to help us Moving forward, the best piece, to, the best place to start a campaign is the hospital. The preacher emphasized, Nigerians are facing gripping difficulty as the country prepared for another general election in February and March next year. The APC government under President Mohamed Buhari will be completing an eight years rule at the centers and is pushing to keep power beyond 2023 through Mr. Tunubu. Analysis, however, said the performance of the ruling party has been poor on all important development index since getting power in 2015. Economics has, worsen, economic, economics has worsened under Mr. Buhari 
with the country twice failing into uh, into recession the latest in 2020 unemployment rate remaining retrograde why the country's you know current naira continue to lose value against the dollar at an alarming rate due to lack of forest revenue hmm. now um the apc the the apc are trying as much as possible to retain power but i think one of the challenges they are facing now is their past results you know uh the truth is that the the present administration has not done well in every aspect. There is no sector you are going to look at a point to and say the APC has done well here, that they have tried enough here. There is no aspect. You know, when you talk about the security, you know, Nigeria has lost their citizens more in the space of the seven years of Mohammed Buhari than any government in the history of Nigeria. Then you talk about our economy. Our economy has deteriorated so much that our money has lost value so much that dollar now is is like a piece of paper. You know, you know, the naira is like a piece of paper. It's losing value so uh, 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 rapidly. Before now, Nigeria happened to be one of the best currencies. Naira have to be one of the the valued currency in in Africa, where you know you are holding uh, whenever you hold naira, you are both of holding. A, a, a strong denomination but unfortunately the naira has collapsed and uh, the the value has gone down not uh, 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 you know the the exchange rate within the naira and dollar is so high that you know if not because of the fall in naira it has gotten to 800 and something naira but thank god that it has fallen to 720 so we hope that it will it, it keep going down but uh, the APC government have really not done well. You know, that is the challenges that the uh, you know, Bola Ahmed Tunubu will have. And that is why it's calling, you know, that Nigeria should give them another opportunity to do so that they can do well. But the truth is that as a country, we don't want to keep uh, trying and error. You know, we don't want to do what they call trying and error. Uh, they, if, if the if uh, a political a particular political party is not doing well i think we need a change that is what uh, nigerians are seeking for and that is what brought apc to power because nigerians believe that the pdp has done their worst you know on that president good lord jonathan before then the pdp has uh, been in power for 16 years and the economy keep deteriorating but not as bad as it is right now so nigerians woke up and said no we want something new and when President Mohamed Buhari came on board, Nigerians were hopeful. Nigerians were hopeful. Nigerians trusted that the President Mohamed Buhari will, will bring a new air into the politics and, uh, you know, uh, raid the corruption and bring, uh, you know, uh, and then there was a rising insecurity and fight the insecurity in the country ability to stand still. But unfortunately, reverse is the case. You know, uh, everything that PDP were doing were worst in, 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 in under President Mohammed Buhari's administration. The insecurity was worst. The 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 looting and all that you know was also uh, one of those areas that uh, you know Nigerians are not happy with. Well, uh, that is what it is right now. Please thank you for tuning in. I want you to comment below. Let us know your thoughts concerning this, and also subscribe to our channel for more uh, to come. Thank you.